Hi everybody, this is Pun, the Frugal Streamer, and I want to show you a new stream package that Nerd or Die has come out with, and it is called Predator. Now, Predator is inspired by Apex Legends. Uh, as you, many of you know, Apex Legends is one of the most popular games out there right now. So Nerd or Die has made this stream pack for Apex Legends players. But the good thing is with the styling and the design of it is that it can be used pretty much with any game. But it is you know, geared more for Apex Legends. I personally use it for everything and it works great. Let me show you how to set it up in Streamlabs OBS because it is extremely easy to do. Nerd or Die makes it easy for anybody to be able to import this and to customize it to their needs. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to nerdordie.com and select the uh, Predator Stream package, and it'll come to this page here where you can purchase the package. Uh, so they have a couple different pricing options. The full stream package with the After Effects source files and Photoshop source files, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is $30. If you are not familiar with After Effects and you, you, know, you feel uncomfortable going in and doing editing yourself, then you can just download the full stream package for $20 and that will give you the Streamlabs OBS uh, file that you can import. Okay. So once you purchase this and then you download it to a file on your hard drive, you know, do the unzipping there on your file and then um, you'll be ready to go. But once you get that done, then you'll need to open Streamlabs OBS up and then we'll go to the settings gear and then we'll look for scene, scene uh, collections right here. And then here, we're going to import overlay file. All right, so we're going to click on that. And it just so happens that I've got it selected right here. Now, I have I got the uh, red overlay file that I'm going to use. When you get the stream package, it comes with three preset colors that you can select, red, pink, or orange. Uh, I, since my branding uses red, I'm going to select red. And you just select that, and then Streamlabs OBS will then import all the files into there, and it will make everything that you need. So you have now a scene collection, right, with a number of different scenes. So uh, they give you a welcome slide here. It kind of tells you uh, some directions about using the setup guide, uh, you got the stream starting here. You got stream ending. You notice that there's a transition there, a stinger transition. You have just chatting, and then you got a couple of end games. Uh, you got the top and bottom support if you want to have your banner stuff at the top and the bottom. And notice you have a couple different ones here that you can use. Uh, you got a four, uh, four field one. You got a three field one. One here. It's you know got donations. You got a uh, tips you got top tips you got subs you got cheers uh, so you can choose any one of these and the ones you don't want to get rid of then you can either you know just you know hide them or you can actually you know delete them if you're not going to use them okay same goes for all these camera frames all these camera frames just various ones that you can use uh, this one like has your name in it that you can put your uh stream name in there this one just you know has it's just a regular camera frame this is a four by three a four by three with your name in it so you know you use you pick one of the four here or if you're doing a dual stream and you want to put two cameras in here for different people you pick two and then you get rid of the rest of them or hide them now one little hint i will give you is that the more sources and scenes that you have listed in streamlabs obs the more cpu usage you're going to use so it would be best to get rid of what you're not going to use um, if you ever decide that you want to change it later then you can you know, get rid of the scene collection and then go back and repick and pick the uh, file and import it again and you'll get all the stuff back. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch over and show you what I have done with my own version of this. All right. So this is what I have done to customize the Predator stream package for my own personal use. And so I've added my name in there. I've got my different social medias. Of course, the stream labels are already added in here. Um, I didn't even have to do anything for that. I've added my schedule, and they, these are all just text files that you can go in. They're text source files that you can go in and uh, edit. Like here, you have a couple text files for schedule one and schedule two. 
Uh, so, you know, just go in and type it in. It's very easy to do. Um, I have the side game support, which has got my uh, webcam in here. Um, I can, I've got an NDI source added so that if my gaming PC was running a uh, scan converter, which if I turn it on, let me see, it should send it over. I'll turn, I'll just turn scan converter on there. And uh, you should see OBS Studio pop up here. Yeah, so I got the NDI source there. You know, I've got my webcam frame and I've got an alert box. So the alert box is something that you'll need to add separately. Um, so you'll go into your dashboard here and you will go to your widgets and what you'll do here is once you as part of the predator overlay package you do get a uh an alert folder and that this alert folder is right here and you got this setup guide right here that you can uh click on this and log into your either twitch or youtube or mixer account whatever you're going to use facebook and uh, once you log in, then it'll set up the stream label for you, or just the alert, I'm sorry. And once you do that, then all you need to do is make sure that you're, when you go to uh, widget themes, you want to make sure that the, it's called Apex, that you want the Apex alert to be selected as your main or active alert. So you go here, say hit use. And it should turn it as active there. And then you should be able to go to your editor, test the widget, and it should come up. And there you go. Now, the key with this is that it comes in as orange. You have to go and change the color for this. So it's very easy to do. All you need to do is go to um, filters. And I've already done this, but you need to just click the plus sign and select color correction. Okay. And when you hit color correction, hit done. And this will give you the UI. And all you need to do is go down here and change the color to whatever color you want it to be. And in the case here, I wanted it to be red to match my uh, the rest of the overlay stuff. So there is one thing you need to keep in mind, and that is the fact that this overlay package comes with a lot of uh animations a lot of avi files and these take up resources for cpu as you can see right now i'm not doing any streaming and i'm using about 20 percent now this is an older pc so if you have a newer pc then it's not going to really be an issue but for anyone that's streaming and they're trying to use an older laptop or an older pc like mine then you might need to consider this because the more AVI files that you're running simultaneously, the more resources you're going to use up. And I wanted to let you know that. So I can't say enough about the Nerd or Die Pack. Uh, they provide great products like this and they make it really easy to set up. And especially if you're using Streamlabs OBS, as you could just import everything right in. And it's just a matter of going in and customizing it to your needs. Uh, so go out there, check it out. I think you would really like it. Um, I use them all the time. Now, this is not a sponsored ad. I, did, I paid for this out of my own pocket, but I do believe in Nerd or Die products. I've been using them for years now, and I do support them. I really do. So go out there, give it a shot if, if you like it. Um, and if you like this video, let me know because I, you know, I, I would like to do more of these and provide uh, different products that you can use in Streamlabs OBS, including the stream apps that are coming out, a plethora of those, including Nerd or Die, that has a stream uh, an app inside of there where you can go and customize different overlay packages. So, anyway, that is it, guys. This is Pun, the Frugal Streamer. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you for watching, and we will see you later.